Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be going over what I got in the BoxyCharm this month. So before we start, I'm going to go on and go over what all my box included, kind of give you the rundown of what they claim and all that, and then we will go on and start the look. Before starting filming, I went on and did my eyebrows because I didn't get anything for them and just wanted to get those done out of the way. So. What I got is where everybody got a Becca Hydra Mist and Refresh Powder. Um, so it looks like this. And then it says the weightless powder sets and refreshes makeup for a silky smooth and visible finish. Formulated with 50% water and glycerin, this powder creates a mist-like sensation to, on the skin for a seamless finish and comfortable feel. And then this usually retails for $39. Then I got the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Oil. It looks like this. The Multitasking Beauty Elixir instantly hydrates and absorbs into the skin, revealing a bouncy, useful complexion no matter what skin type you have. The lightweight, powerful formula nourishes and primes the skin and helps to restore skin's moisture barrier while providing a youthful glow. The Spill Proof Dropper allows you to use it like use it one drop at a time this usually retails for $42 and then I got the Tarte Big Ego Mascara looks like this an ultra black vegan mascara that lifts your lashes and delivers a fully loaded flutter for up to 16 hours next um, so I got two eyeshadows from Ace Beauty the Glimmered Shadow Duo I will only be able to show one today. I have them sitting in Sassy's uh, room, which is basically like the spare bedroom, my makeup room, and she thought that they were her toys. So she knocked them off of my desk and one of them is missing. Um, the one that's missing is cotton candy, it's a pink. And then the one that I have is ice latte and it is a brown gold, like a bronzy color like this. High, pi high pigmented soft shadows with a creamy texture specifically designed for the ultimate color payoff. These shadows provide bold color and one swipe without fallout, creasing or fading. Oh, and then I don't know if I said, but the mascara is $23. And then the eyeshadow duo is $25. And then from Steve Laurent, we got a lip liner. And I got shade Vogue. And reshape, resize, and redefine your pout. This lip pencil is total magic. It smooths over your lip line for a seamless and flawless finish. Completely waterproof, so no transferring or bleeding all day long. It lasts up to seven hours. And this usually retails for $15. So we're going to go ahead and start. I'm going to start with the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. I went on in about 30 minutes ago. I used the Watermelon Face Milk face milk from fourth ray I dove today um, and so the salt water kind of just made my skin a little bit drier so I'm gonna go on and do this in the dropper it looks like this since the non drip so I'm just gonna put it and it is like a pink shimmery primer and then I do have clean hands so I'm gonna go on and rub that in off the of first impression of this it is like a very illuminating it's not like shimmer and it's not like glittery chunky or anything like that it's just a really nice pretty I don't know like just a glow and it's I mean it's a glow oil and it really it's really pretty and it's tacky but it's not as tacky as like the hydro milk primer or the milk hydro grip primer and so now I'm gonna go on in with my foundation. I'm gonna go in with Huda Beauty and Macaroon. First impression on this primer. It does make the skin underneath have like a really nice glow. The foundation has a nice glow. Um, I'm hoping that since I have drier skin that'll help keep it from looking too dry. Right now I'm not noticing any more creasing or any more like intense falling into the lines than normal um i always have really good 
luck with this foundation. So we will go on and continue with concealer. And like normal, I'm going in with coconut flakes from Huda Beauty and then I will be using my Tarte Shape Tape and Fair Neutral. So now that that's blended out, I'm gonna go on in and I'm going to start with my Becca um, Hydra Mist. Now I have heard that if you don't close the lid tight enough, um, that it can dry out a little bit faster. So if you notice that happening a little too quick, it could be that. So it opens and then it has another like lid that you will pop open. And then it's also a like a net that you pounce into. So I'm gonna go on and put it on. It is so, it feels like when you take a, like a paper towel, a wet paper towel and put that on your skin, like that's the same feeling that I'm getting right now. The same sense, like a cooling wet, but it doesn't like, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. Let's see. I watched Manny MUA's review on his. And he talked about how he had used it before he thought he did or he thought and that he thought it darkened him and so he didn't like it but then he reused it and it didn't and he liked it the second time i think i see what he's talking about because it like darkened my concealer in the square i don't know if you can see that but just right there where i put it and i don't know if it was because of the wetness and that'll go away like the wetness from my actual sponge itself or if that's really like the powder reacting with something or if the powder is just, I'm pretty sure this is their light shade. So we will, and that's like the only place that I see it happening, maybe a little like right here. So I'm not really sure what I can do to prevent that or maybe it's just a fluke and it was my sponge that's too wet. So I'll have to try it again, try it out again sometime to see what's going on. But it is, it's not blending out and you can see like right there and right there. So it's a little weird. Um, if someone knows why it's doing that, leave it in the comments below um, so that we can all learn what we need to do to fix it. And then I'll also be testing it out to see what all helps it or if I can like if I can figure out what's doing it. So we will test out some more and I will have to get back to you guys on that. I can't get over that square. I mean, it's kind of looks like it's kind of going away. But I have like a line going straight up my nose that's obvious where it goes bright to dark. So maybe my sponge picked up some of my concealer, but I went in with a pretty heavy hand on that first round. So just some things I'm noticing. Um, the powder still is a powder. It feels really cool. So we will just have to see how it acts throughout the night. I wish I can. Okay, it kind of went away. It's not as noticeable now. I try not to swipe my powder too much. I try to just press it in, um, but the swiping is kind of making it blend. So maybe because it's like 50% water and glycerin, is that what it was? Yeah, 50% water and glycerin, 
Maybe because it's more liquid, made more of liquids or s than most powders. I don't know what most powders are really formulate, how they're really formulated, but maybe it needs blending a little bit more because it is a little formulated a little different. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna feel my face to make sure I don't have any tacky spots. And if I do find some tacky spots, just going on in with that powder to correct that. It feels really nice and really cool, like I've said, but it's just not, I don't know. I don't wanna sound like I'm hating on it because I don't hate it. There's just some things I have, I have questions. I got some questions about it. I really love the way it makes my face feel, how cool. So if I'm like out at the fair, like at a fair or doing something outside, like in a music amusement park or something like that, this would be nice to carry in my bag and then to keep, if I'm getting hot and my makeup is starting to kind of pull up or anything like that, I can use that and kind of cool my face down and then also just have a nice little refresher for my face. Since I didn't get anything for like my face, all I got was two more things for the eyes, mascara and eyeshadow, and then a lip liner. I'm gonna go on and quickly just breeze through this. We'll see how my products lay on top of the powder. Here is what it looks like. So it's very bronzy. There's like some silver, it looks like maybe some, I mean silver and gold, maybe some like really light pink reflex in that. I don't know if you can get a good look at that. So I'm just gonna dip into it and it's really like, I don't know, it kind of feels like, I'm trying to think of what it feels like, kind of like Play-Doh kinda. It doesn't really have a smell. I'm sorry, I'm a weirdo. I smell all my makeup, um, but it's soft and like you can just make like an indent in it. So I'm gonna go on, I'm just gonna go straight onto my lid with it. So then there's that, it's really quick, really easy. You can do this with any eyeshadow that you want. Just do really messily, not like super messy, but Unless you want that look, of course. But like, just put on one shade that's like a really neutral color and then messily, like quick, easy, blend it out. You don't really have to use any brushes for it. So there's that. Quick, easy. It, if you wanted to do like an eyeshadow in the morning before you go to school, college, work, whatever you have going on and you just need to do something quick, I suggest doing that. It's gonna be the easiest. Um, quickest if you have like two two minutes put a little concealer under your eye blend that out put some mascara and put some like one shade on you can put put it just all over or you can just put it in your crease up to you whatever vibe you're going for for the day so then now that i'm done with that okay actually it does have a smell and it's like kind of like bubbles it smells a little bit like that bubbly smell it's not bad though i don't hate it okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with my eyeliner i'm gonna use just a normal like oh my hair is a mess it's a fright what is this what is this okay i took a shower at work after my dive and my hair was still kind of wet before i filmed so i just threw it up and here we are. I'm gonna go in with just a normal brown. I'm gonna go in with ColourPop, the BFF cream gel liner, um, and Call Me. Just a normal brown. So I went on and put my liner on. I went on and curled my lashes. And so now we're gonna go in with the Big Ego Mascara from Tarte. Um, I love this hot pink. I love how bright it is. Um, if I put this in my bag, I would not lose it. I love it. So the brush tips look like this. I don't know. There we go. 
and it says that it's a twisted double fiber bristle for maximum maximum pigment load so I'm gonna go on and go in with this and then we'll discuss so since the brush is so big it is a little harder to get it into my ends like my inner corner lashes I just have to be really careful with that because I don't want to get it on my skin but it is grabbing all my lashes so like so nicely I really am liking how this is turning out like they're not super thick they're not chunky and they look they just look nice so I'm gonna go on in with my lower lash on this side so again since the brush is bigger it's a little bit harder because I don't want to get it on my bottom like my lower lash line but it doesn't like my lashes aren't clumping bad like I have my lashes naturally group together on the outside and these are like helping keep it apart and this is only one dip in so I'm gonna go on and do another and do my second coat on this eye then I'm gonna go off camera do my other eye real quick because you don't need to see both eyes I'll be will be here forever watching me perfect my eyelashes oh that would have been bad I don't know if you see it but it's like a really thick glob and then like a hair I don't know if that came from me or what but it's there and that would have been bad okay so I'm gonna go on and go for it Guys, when I say I think I found my new favorite mascara, I really mean it. Like, I love the way my lashes look right now. I don't feel the need to put on falsies because of how good they look. I am so impressed with this. I love this. If you are struggling to find one that you like, I mean, I haven't worn this in long enough to know if it flakes or anything, but just first impressions I love this mascara oh my gosh okay so now that I'm done with that we'll go on and start with lips so I'm gonna go in with the Steve Laurent um, Vogue lip pencil and then for my lips um, I didn't get it in the BoxyCharm but I bought it recently um, it's the ColourPop lippy sticks and it's in shade Brink, and it's a matte shade. So I'll go on and do this. I'm still learning how to do lip liners. Um, I don't wear lip liners a lot. I've never done it, um, but now that I've gotten, this is my second one in BoxyCharm, I'm gonna try and start using them. I need to start getting some to test, see what my favorite formulas are. Um, so since I'm still new to it, I don't, I can't give a super in-depth description of it but I will be able to give like some some that I know notice okay, so this color it's like a, like a pink purple like a berryish almost it tugs at my lips a lot like when I'm pulling I wish it would like glide on a little bit easier but maybe this is Better since I'm learning that way I'm not like sliding it everywhere I can be a little bit more precise so now that that is done ish once I start getting more comfortable with it I think I'll be able to do it a little bit faster and know how I like it done there we go. I looked more rounded out on that side. So now it's fixed. So I'm going to go on in with this matte color. And they're slanted like this. And this is the color. So I felt like it was a pretty good match. 
So we'll do that and then we'll do highlighter, setting spray, and be done. So here is the final look. Um, overall, I think my favorite, hands down my favorite product from this month's BoxyCharm was the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. It, it's just, ugh. It looks so good. So good. And then, um, I really like the Glow Ahead Illuminating Oil. Um, we'll see, and I will comment in the description box down below how it wore throughout the night. Um, kind of keep you updated on that. Everything is done. I think if I had to pick a least... I don't want to say least favorite because I liked it all. It was all so good. But if I had to pick something that I wish had a little bit, like I would have done differently, um, it probably would have been the lip liner. I probably would have made it just a little bit more creamy. Um, it was just a little dry and so it dragged my lips. But like I said, since I'm a beginner, that's a little bit nicer because it's not like I touch it and it automatically puts pigment down. So in case I do make a mistake, it's a little more forgiving in that aspect. So there's, like I said, there's the look. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And then leave any comment um, of what you thought about this or if you have any other video ideas. Just leave that down below. And then I will see you next time.